November 2017. It was a Friday. I know because every Friday I do Pilates. I remember the song that was playing. If you like pina colada, getting caught in the rain. If you're not into yoga, and you have half a brain. And then I got a call from my sister, and I knew it was important, because she knows not to call me during Pilates. Mango black tea was canceled. It's a real problem when food, drink, and the other consumable are discontinued. In fact, it can be catastrophic for those affected. Starbucks, McDonald's, all of these establishments contribute to this problem. And these people who depend on these local delicacies, they have nowhere else to turn. These small enjoyments of life are critical for their ongoing ability to cope with the challenges they face during their 9 to 5 jobs. We went to this place one day and I thought it was going to be an amazing experience. I thought it was going to better my life in some way. So we walk in and the worst possible thing that could possibly happen in my life at that moment happened. They had no Wi-Fi. In that moment, I, I saw that there was no Wi-Fi and I felt so alone. Here's the thing, I pay for Prime, and I do it so that I can get my packages when I need them, right? It could be something really critical, it could be important. So I feel like every time something arrives late, I'm, I'm getting screwed. I felt like I'd been betrayed. I feel out of control. That's how I feel. And I need to be in control. I can't not be in control. Our research took us to Frisco, a small suburb outside of Dallas. I must say that I was utterly shocked at what we found. These white, disenfranchised, middle-class people just don't know what the future holds for them. Living in that type of uh, tension must be debilitating. They don't know where their next local artisan cheese is coming from. They don't know if their packages are going to arrive on time. They're constantly at risk of failing to fulfill Maslow's basic needs, endangering their ability to ever reach self-actualization. These people face real struggles every day. And so I, I sign a petition uh, to bring back mango black tea, right? And then time just kind of strolls by and nothing happens. When you rely on a service like this, when you pay for a service like this, you kind of need to get that kind of service. What kind of place or world would want to cut us off from the rest of society. That's not the kind of world I want to live in. They are having to deal with house mortgages, car payments, 
their kid birthday parties and a multitude of other pressing obligations pressed on them by society. If they don't have what they need to help them deal with that kind of pressure, the intensity of their circumstances could drive them over the edge. It's becoming more imperative with every passing hour to recognize the plight of these people who are losing their ability to rise to their full potential. I believe we are at a crossroads and how we proceed from this point forward will have an irrevocable effect on these lives. We must act now if we are to reclaim the future they deserve.